The modern even tempered scale is based upon the 12th root of 2. This isn't a maths lesson, so it's not important to know what the 12th root of 2 means. All we need to know is how to get a spreadsheet to calculate it and how to use it to calculate fret locations. In practice, it's more intuitive if we use 1 divided by the 12th root of 2. This gives us a number that we can understand as a fraction of the string length. To be specific, 1 divided by the 12th root of 2 gives us the position of the first semitone. Here's a piece of string. It's 630 millimeters long. Here is the guitar fingerboard with the frets marked up. This number here is approximately 1 divided by the 12th root of 2. I say approximately because it's actually an irrational fraction. It's a decimal expansion that carries on without ever repeating itself. There's no point in worrying about this many decimal places. With this kind of precision, we could calculate our fret locations to within the distance of the nucleus of an atom, which is a little excessive given that we're only going to be using a handsaw, a steel rule, and a pair of eyes. To make life simple, I'm just going to call this ratio for the time being 0.944 or 94.4%. In other words, with a string length of 630 millimeters, my first semitone is 94.4% of the string length, which is 594.6 millimeters. So now I've calculated the first fret. How do I calculate the second fret, and the third fret, and the fourth fret? Well, the moment's thinking, you realise that if I place my finger on the first fret here, I've got a new string length. Specifically, 594.6 millimetres. And you can see that the first semitone after that is going to be 94.4% of the string length which is going to be 561.2 millimeters. So my second fret is approximately 561 millimeters. And to get this fret, guess what I do? I place my finger on the second fret and I get a new string length and a new fret. I keep going one after the next, after the next, after the next. Let's turn that into a spreadsheet. To save time, I put in all of the titles. The scale length is going to be, in this case, 630 millimeters. In here, I'm going to put in 1 over the 12th root of 2 equals 1 slash 2 shift f6 on a UK keyboard open brackets 1 slash 12 close brackets and that gives me approximately 94.4 percent and I can reduce the number of decimals by Pushing a button here, there is an equivalent button in Excel. Note that doesn't affect the accuracy of the calculation, it simply affects the number of decimals that you see on screen. Now I'm going to put in the fret locations fret 1, fret 2, and so on. That's the long way of doing it. There's an easy way of doing it in LibreOffice. What you do is you click on the number. You take hold of this bottom right hand square, the cursor will change, I right mouse click, and as you can see, it will auto increment. If you're using Excel, it's slightly different. If I do this in Excel and drag that down, all that will happen is I'll get 1, 1, 1, 1. To get it to auto increment in Excel, I have to place 
the next number in the list. So here I've got a 1 followed by a 2. I select both of those together. Now I grab and Excel will also auto increment by whichever distance is between these two numbers. If I made that 1, 3, it would go 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now I need to calculate the string lengths. Just to make the calculations a little simpler, I'm going to put a repeat of this fret location, this string length in here. My first string length is going to be 630 multiplied by 94.4% equals 630 times approximately 94.4%. Once again we've got huge numbers of decimals with that we don't want so we'll reduce the number of decimals that we see Our next calculation will be exactly the same. It'll be 594.6 times 0.944. We could at least initially calculate this by dragging down the formula. Unfortunately, that goes wrong. The reason is this formula is a relative formula. Notice this first formula references cell E1 correctly. Formula below it references cell E2 and then cell E3 and cell E4. What we need to do is lock down the reference to cell E1. And we do that by placing the mouse cursor anywhere around the E1 before, in the middle, or after, and pressing the button F4. This formula now reads multiply the cell above by cell E1. And that correctly gives us our string lengths. Unfortunately, these are string lengths measured from the bridge. As you can see here, my initial string length is 630 millimeters. When I use this formula to calculate the next string length, it gives me 594.6 millimeters, which is the distance from the bridge to the first fret. But it doesn't take a lot of brains to work out that if I know the overall distance, 600 mm, 630 millimeters, I then know the position of the first fret as being 594.6 millimeters. The distance between here and here is this minus this. So the distance from the nut is overall string length minus the position of the first fret. Once again we have huge numbers of decimals. To move those decimals we only need one decimal at most. And again we can copy the formula down and again it'll go wrong. Why? Because it's a relative formula. We want to refer to cell with 630 in it, and our formula doesn't. Same fix. We go to our first formula, and we find that it's cell E4 we want to lock down, we place the cursor in cell E4, we press F4. Copy down, and we get the correct numbers. That's pretty much it. All I'm going to do now is just tidy up the spreadsheet, make it look a little bit neater. First thing I'm going to do is move this calculation out of the way. I'll put it in column AA for no very good reason other than it's a long way out of the way. Then I'll turn this into a table. I'll add some grid lines to it. 
and then to make it easy to navigate I'm going to mark up for a 12 and for 24 and there I have it a universal scale length calculator fret number distance from note if I choose a different instrument say a short scale bass 800 millimeters first fret is 44.9 millimeters next fret is 87.3 and unsurprisingly fret 12 is halfway along so that should be 400 millimeters fret 12 is indeed 400 millimeters we would also expect fret 24 to be 400 millimeters plus 200 millimeters which is 600 millimeters so it works how about a fender stratocaster equals 25.4 times 25.5 first fret 36.4 millimeters second fret 70.7 millimeters that's it the only thing you'll need to do is make sure you save it somewhere because if you've been copying this video slavishly please remember to save it afterwards otherwise you're going to shut down your computer and have to think I'm going to have to go through all of that again so do remember to save and that's it for this video thank you for watching